Oh, hello folks. How y'all doing tonight? Bob here. Just working on the little Kubota. This evening. And do I got a, a mod I need to show y'all. I'm glad you showed up. So stick around and let me show you what my latest modification to my Kubota BX1850 is. I uh, got a four bolts here that have to come off. Now, these things might be a little tight. So when you go to take them off, make sure you got a long, either a breaker bar or a cheater you could throw over your ratchet and get a little extra pull on them. But I got something I think you all might like. I know I'm going to like it. Made by one of the best modification guys in the BX industry. So, I'm going to clean this up a little bit while I'm at it. Let me grab the spray. Let me grab a rag. I'll be right back. What I just removed here is this quarter inch thick piece of steel painted pretty Kubota gray. And what we got here is, don't know if you can see this folks, what we got here is the latest, well I don't know if it's the latest, but to me it's the latest. BX mod from AI2 Productions and AI2 Productions Tony is the man behind this and uh, Asheville Industries too and uh, this goes right down here as you see it's got a two inch receiver and all you got to do remove the original Now how you want to put these on folks, when you take the bolt out, the bolt comes out from the top and it's got a flat washer, it's got a captive spring washer or lock washer and you want that flat washer on top. And then the nut has its own flat washer built right in. And you're just gonna put that on the bottom and tighten it up. No change in the clearance on the bottom. This uh, same uh, nut was sticking down. This was designed to use the original hardware, mounting hardware, so that you didn't have to buy anything new We're just going to flip these here real quick and tighten them down. Get 
this is literally a bolt-on modification. All you do is remove the original drawbar plate. And put this on in its place. Stand by while I grab a deep well. That's all it is to it, folks. Now, there you go, folks. That's it. So now I got a draw bar on there. If I need to, I just unscrew this. I could put a ball on that if I like. The other nice thing about this is right here, when your trailer and your tractor, you can just hook right on here. The other thing is, hook your safety chains on there. Very, very well thought out design. Very sturdy, thick, uh, thick stock. And uh, very nice. So, look at uh, bxattachments.com if you're interested in your own. It's a great uh, addition to your tractor. Make your life a little easier around the uh, around the house, around the land. Awesome, awesome piece. Like it. You could also put a, a hitch here with a step up if you wanted to pull from down there a, a ball hitch. The uh, you could put a lot of things in there. You could put a winch. You know anything that will receive a, a two inch receiver. Just put a two inch stinger in there and off you go. So there you go. I really like it. I think Tony did a great job. Thank you, Tony. I'd like to thank uh, John Ritter over at a Ritter little a, a Ritter bit will do. <laughs> Ritter bit will do uh, YouTube channel. John's the one that uh, went up to Tony's and uh, put.
put this on his channel made me aware that the product was available I uh, also have some other uh, um, modifications that I have that Tony did really really pleased with them all I like them I've uh, that'll be one two three four I have at least four of Tony's mods for the BX tractor I think Tony does a great job a great veteran American made here in the USA so thank you Tony thanks again John and if you have any questions drop a comment down below I'll put some information in here links to Tony's page I uh, ordered this uh, modification he had them on the shelf shipped it the next day I believe and I had it in three days so uh, very very prompt shipping great checkout process using PayPal uh, yeah I couldn't I couldn't um, recommend this uh, product or Tony's uh, Tony's uh, modifications anymore it, it, they are top-notch uh, thank you very much once again y'all have a good day hit the like button on your way out leave a comment and subscribe if you would like Okay, thank you all very much. Have a good day.